May you find happiness and peace. And may your home stand the test of time. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mary. Today I'm back again with another video from Charlie Kirk. Today's video is titled, College Kids Give the Craziest Abortion Argument I Have Ever Heard. So without further ado, let's get started. Hello Charlie. Hello. Uh, my name's Adam. Uh, yeah, Adam. So I want to ask you, uh, what do you think about uh, veganism? Uh, I, I, I am not a fan of vegan, but you have a right to be vegan, obviously. So uh, let yeah. me clarify, yeah. you, um, you, you, on abortion, you support pretty much banning abortion yes. in most situations. Yes, but, but humans are not rabbits. Yes, yeah, so... And how, humans, do you humans are not deer and humans are not cows. Okay, so I want to ask you, do you think it's a little bit hypocritical that you uh, oppose abortion, but you also oppose, oppose veganism? Most animals, uh, you know, most adult, like cows, pigs, chickens, they're more intelligent than fetuses and you know little children small okay, so infants uh, I, I can't believe i can't believe so i have how to, come, i so can't I'm believe asking, i have to answer this can i answer yeah so how come you're saying that can i children, answer okay yes yeah go ahead. okay if you leave a cow for five years will the cow ever be able to talk no if you leave a fetus for five years will the fetus be able to talk yeah okay sure, maybe. so then which one has reason and a soul and can make sense of the natural world aka an elevated being worthy of protection well, that's a cow not, or a human being that's not a good argument that's like saying mute humans humans that are born that, that are without the ability to speak can't uh well, have it's rights it's not just about speaking it's about reason it's about having a soul it's about being not an animal Amen. what is a human being to you a human being is someone who who uh grows who has a uh, personality and someone who who can speak and uh you know if you mean like bio biologically like someone of no, the, just give me a definition of you have a dog and a human being how do you know which is which a human being can walk and, and talk and, and well, yeah. a, a dog can walk yeah but i can't walk and like and talk sure here's the difference a human being can tell you the difference between right and wrong an animal can only tell you the difference between pleasure and pain yeah but but animals still suffer like human beings but, but again the moral worth of a human being is objectively different because we are able to make moral contentions, not just contentions based on how we feel. Animals can only feel, they cannot reason. Yeah, but that's and therefore we, have a, we should be treated different morally. Now from a typical Western religious view, we have souls as human beings and animals do not. And as a soul, I mean not just in the religious sense, but I also mean that there is a part of you that is not just your five senses, right? Okay, sure, well... So for example, if you think you're only your five senses, which one of your five senses is telling you that? Well, I don't know what you mean by five senses. You mean my brain? Well, your five senses, sight, <laughs> smell, <laughs> taste, feel, hear, five senses. So an animal only has five senses. It yeah, does sure. not have an ability to withdraw itself from its fifth sense. Right? Yeah, but how do you believe that it's that's uh, it's okay to kill an animal when it's not okay to kill a child? You defend an, a child more. Some children die. Uh, some children never make it out of the womb. Well, because human beings are human. A is A, and human beings are worthy of protection, and animals are not humans, and they're not the moral equivalency. Correct? No, but I, I don't believe that. I'm not trying to argue that a human is worth more than an animal. I'm saying that even if a human is worth more than an animal, you should give uh, animals respect. I do we give animals on. respect. We should treat them humanely. If you are to eat them, you should you should kill them in a way that does not have unjust suffering. What about we, milk? But animals are raped all the time. Cows are raped <laughs> to, to produce milk. Yeah, you know, yeah, to produce milk, a cow has to be impregnated, and it's not like these farmers are waiting for the animal to get pregnant naturally. They have to be force, forcibly inseminated, I, which is a form of rape. I, I actually think it's a great thing that we have dairy. I okay, think. but I don't think that having that drinking milk it's in and of itself is bad. But saying that animals uh, can be raped is okay. That's that's not that's beyond me. That you, you, you think that uh, cows are being raped? I got to be honest. Yes. I've been doing this for 12 years. I've never heard that before. <laughs> yes, but they are raped because they're not referred to as being raped. They're said they're said to be forcibly inseminated. How come that's okay, but raping raping a small I, child I, is I, not? I, I, I would not. I, what? Yeah. I don't, I don't support raping anyone. I, I, I don't support raping human beings. I wouldn't yes. call uh, extracting milk from a cow the same as what no. happens if a woman is raped by some savage. I'm not talking about <laughs> extracting milk. I'm talking about when you inseminate a cow to get it pregnant oh, so it I can see. produce okay. milk. Yes. Yeah, not that worried about that. Why not? Do you not, do you not think their suffering is worth anything? I think their suffering's fine. Again, they're not human beings, and whatever allows the human being to flourish is what we should be concerned about. And I think it's a good thing that human beings are able to have meat, 
beef and dairy, and so. Okay, but I, I appreciate your, your I appreciate your oh, yeah. exactly. Yeah, how many did the the cows build the railroads? Like, I mean, no, but they, but you still have to treat them with respect. Kids don't build railroads, do they? Yeah, but they, they actually grow, do. They, they grow yeah, up but to they adults. Don't, they grow. Yes, uh, uh, cows hit a plateau. I don't have. I can't believe I have to explain this. Cows eventually uh, plateau in their ability to reason. I'm not. I'm not talking about a plateau in ability. I'm talking about suffering at that moment. Right. Is it okay so, to? If you know a kid is never going to grow to adulthood, like if you had like a crystal ball or something, is that okay to kill him no, and rape no, them then? No, of course not, because it's still a human being with a soul and a cow is not. But I just want to make sure we are consistent, just so we're consistent. Is it, do you believe that we should limit the unjust suffering of insects? Well, and I don't believe that, I, I, I don't believe in intentionally killing insects either. So you don't believe that we should spray for mosquitoes even if they're carrying diseases that well, kill Well, if, if they're threatening me, then it's self-defense. Oh, but, okay, got but it. But a cow so, didn't, didn't do anything. Uh, a cow wait, was innocent. On. But what if the cow is feeding me a human being? But you can get nutrients. You can, the World Health Organization has already uh, said that a, okay. a vegan diet is completely healthy for yes. all ages. And, and the World woman, Health Organization has never lied about anything the last couple of years. No, but they stand by that. They, they have also, a perfect record when it came to COVID and masks and the vaccine. And all, and so I just want to be very clear. The push for veganism is a push for the androgenization of the American man. We need to get testosterone rates up, not down. And you do that by eating meat and not eating soybeans. Yeah. No, but you can get all of your protein. You can get nutrients all for all from a plant-based diet. Oh, you okay. Yes, you can. Look it up. Let, let, me, let, let me just say one, like one final thing. Are, are you cons are, do you consider yourself a liberal or? I, I can. Well, it depends on the issue, but uh, like, say abortion. Like, I'd say I'm moderate. Okay. So because you, I believe, you believe in, in human choice. Yeah. Well, uh, generally, like, I don't believe in my body, my choice. Generally speaking, okay. but it depends. Okay. Can I depends have the, each individual? Can I have the right to eat a steak? You have the right to eat a steak? No, Do, because that involves the suffering of, of, of an animal, of an innocent life. And they want, the American left wonders why they're losing young men. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. No, but okay. Thank you. Uh, that, is, that was really something, guys, wasn't it? Keep steak legal will be my new, my new t-shirt, right? Right, Mitchell? Is that something else? You know, I, I love the dialogue. I love the fact that the guy came with, you know, a whole lot of facts and he came prepared for Charlie, and the, the, the answer Charlie was giving him, they are all, um, let's say, answer that goes with reasoning. Because if you check it, we are all human. Though, like, we all breathe, we all feel, basically, almost everything human feel or pass through. Animals also pass through. But the thing is, I just feel is that subconsciousness, and that is it. You see, it's just like you telling lions not to feed on other animals simply because it's not good or they're causing harm to them. Then if a lion should listen to you, lion will cease to exist. He, he, ha he really has a point, you know. Even I think Charlie, to an extent, Charlie was a bit confused, but he was able to bounce back. Anyway, this is a beautiful one. Let me know what you take in the comment section. It is the first time visiting the channel. Click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and remain blessed.